Sarah. I'm here with the Awesome Mitten, and I'm here with Max from the Arkells. We're here at Mopop in downtown Detroit by the riverfront. Super nice day. So we're gonna talk a little bit about Michigan. Oh, cool. Since we're in Michigan, right? I like it. Now your band's from Canada. Yep. Which we can see. Over there. Yeah, <laughs> we can see right over here. So you're not too far away, but I wanted to talk about Michigan since we're in it, and you guys have an album called Michigan Live. Yeah. So I want to ask you where that inspiration came from. Well, uh, my family actually has some roots in Michigan. My dad went to Wayne State in Detroit here. Yeah, right over there. And uh, we have some very good family friends that live in Detroit and uh, Ann Arbor. And so I've been coming here since I was a kid. And when we were making Michigan Left, um, I'm sort of struck by the imagery of the actual Michigan Left, which is you kind of have to go the wrong way to get the right way. And I kind of like that as an idea, because that's sort of what happens in life a lot of the time. Sometimes you have to like go the opposite direction to figure out that you're going the wrong way and then head the right way. And then sometimes you know where you have to get, but you have to go through a lot of stuff and four lanes of traffic to get back there. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta deal with some uh, uneven pavements and stuff like that, yeah. <laughs> so you guys, I checked out your Instagram earlier and it looks like you were exploring the area. You went to Big B, which is a huge Michigan-based uh, yeah. coffee place. You went to Dearborn Music. Yeah. Checked out the vinyl. So I wanted to ask you about vinyl. Now, what do you think it is about like the current like resurgence of vinyl? That all of a sudden, again, younger people are like wanting to buy a tangible piece of music instead of downloading. Yeah, I think it's like two parts. I think. One is I think there's like there's something to the physical nature of it. You can kind of appreciate the artwork. It just like looks nicer when it's blown up. Something like tactile you can turn and that that visceral experience is, is missing, you know, when it comes to Spotify and things like that. Um, and also it forces you to slow down. You can't be ADD about it. You have to put it on a side and just like let it go. Which, which I think people yearn for that a little bit. I, I mean, I'm a pretty like fidgety kind of person, so uh, a vinyl is a nice reminder. Just to cool down and Sit enjoy yourself down, a little bit. Listen to the whole record. So what, uh, what are their favorite like Michigan spots? You said you had your family spent time here and stuff. Have you made it to like Mopon? Yeah, oh yeah, we've done, we've done that yeah, years ago actually. Uh, you know, I've been to a lot of sports down here, so uh, you know, I've been to Comerica. I went to the old Packers Stadium. Uh, in a Joe, Joe Liz Arena. You see the Red Wings, Tigers. Yeah. Actually, I, I went to an NCAA basketball game at the, at the big oh, okay. football stadium. Yeah. Um, we, yeah, our family friends live up in Huntington Woods, just up the road. Uh, we played a gig in Ferndale at the Magic Bag, okay. which is cool. Uh, also, just down the road in, uh, in Ann Arbor, we always, we, if we have time, especially if we're driving from Detroit to Chicago, we try to go to Zingerman. That's a, in Ann Arbor, that's, a, that's a staple. You're naming all of the things. Yeah, yeah. Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> so what's next for you guys? I saw that you're announcing a headlining tour yeah. in the fall. And yeah, well, in Detroit, hey. yeah, it goes on sale Monday. Uh, so by the time this airs, it'll probably be on sale. It'll be, okay. so it'll be our biggest uh, Detroit show yet. So we're Very excited cool. about it. So you're performing here at the main stage, or actually the PBR stage? Yeah, right here. Yeah. And then later you have an after show party. Yeah. After party show. What's it like switching from the two different settings, like outdoor dusty festival to like intimate? Yeah, well, sort of one of the perks of the job, in my opinion, is you get to play a lot of different spaces. I think if it was the same thing over and over again, it might get a little boring. But the fact that we are doing this, and then we're going to a little club, and then we'll go to mid-sized clubs, and then we'll go to opening for a band in a massive place, like. I like the variety. And tonight's actually special because we're going to do a full Motown set. Oh, that'll be so much yeah. fun. No Arkell songs, just Motown songs. Really? Yeah. Well, that'll be so cool. Alright, well thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you. I'm Sarah with Awesome Mitten here with... Max. Max of the Arkells. Yeah, it's Awesome Mitten. I know that reference. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Thanks a lot. Alright, thank you so much. All right.